And to find the Cartesian equation of the plane, we're going to use the other format, much more useful format, this one here, um, that it's r dot n equals d. And the r that we're going to use is just a value. So the value of the of the point on the plane is 1, 0, 1. n is 1, 2, 3. And so if we times that together, we get 1 and nothing and 3. So that makes 4. So a Cartesian equation of the line will be x and 2y and 3z equals 4. Part B for this is trying to find the angle between the line. So we've got a line coming through here. But if we put our normal up here, we're going to find out this angle first of all. So to find that angle, we're going to dot together the direction of the normal, which we had was 1, 2, 3, and the direction of our line, which was 1, 1, 2, and divide it by the square root of 3 squared, 2 squared, 1 squared, that's 14, and 2 squared, 1 squared, 1 squared, so that's 6, and so that's cos theta equals, so what have we got there? That is 6, 7, 8, 9 over root 14, root 6. Let's grab our calculator and do that. So the inverse cos of 9, sorry, you're not quite seeing that yet, never mind. 9, I'm sure you can believe me uh, as I'm tapping in root to that, 14 times 6. And so that's giving me 10.89 degrees. But that was this angle here. So the angle between the um, line and the actual plane will be 90 minus that. So that's going to be 79.1 degrees. 90 minus answer, 79.1 degrees. Oh, I and mean, it's actually to the nearest degree, isn't it? So we'll just take it down to 79. Now, the last part of this says we actually want to find out the coordinates of this point here, the coordinates of x. Um, and like um, all our vectors ones here, we know the point on this line. The point on this line is minus 1 plus t. It's 1 plus t and minus 5 plus 2t. Simply, that is the equation of the line. And we know that when we dot that, going back up here, when we dot that with 1, 2, 3, we know that the answer is going to be 4, because that's the equation of our plane. So we're getting an equation, minus 1 plus t, 2 and 2t, and then I've got three of those, so that's minus 15 plus 6t, and that will equal 4. If we work that out, it turns out that t is going to have to equal 2. And when t is equal to 2, the point on this one here is stick a 2 in there. So I've got 1, 3, 1, sticking the 2 in each of those ones there. Uh, 1, 3, 1, no, 1, 3, minus 1. A little negative slip at the end there, sorry.